It just seems like they're forcing some puzzles to make it just like that. And saying, like, we can do this too. Because that was pretty unnecessary. Now try and figure this out. You can put the cube in here, right? In, like, that hole in the ground there. Alright. Now listen what happens when I bother to actually put this in. I'm not sure why I'm river dancing around this thing. <laughs> because you love this game so much. Okay. Is that... And then you kind of just hear this gong in the background. Ah, oh, you self-destructed the game, didn't you? As far as I know, that's the only thing that button does. A gong. Yeah, and that's one of those, you know, like those crates that everyone couldn't take cubes? Well, they're back. Huh. So I just went through that. You can't bring the cube with you. This is also pointless, as I'll show you later on. Like, I don't know, is it the fire alarm? What is it? I don't know. Get some... <laughs> I love it still makes the sound effect when you swim. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just... it's brilliant. I wasn't really sure what to do in this room. And honestly... It's a gong button and another big button. Yep. Two funnels. There's one going up there, so I was like, ah, can I take the cube through here? No, because I don't remember playing this game at home. Uh, it doesn't fit. No, it does fit. Oh, it's yeah, it's it. one of those. Um... <laughs> You're never gonna reach that. Meh. Anyway. So, this time I head up. Mm -hmm. That's a cube button. Yeah. And the only way up here is through that grate, so how do we get the cube up here? Provide mm. some kind of slingshot. Not well, that. we start by dying. Uh, I can't notice this panel on the wall looks a bit off. And my curiosity is rewarded. That's really obscure. Oh. Ooh, secret room. Secret room. Obey. Notes. It's saying some kind of poem thing about research and science reaching its conclusion. Science? It's... Echo. Um... The notes don't really indicate much. There's a skeleton there, as you can oh, see. Oh, joy. Another person. Hooray. <laughs> Presumably the skeleton belongs to whoever wrote that. It's just like, hey, over here is my dead body. If they said that on the wall, that would be impressive. It's like, well, I'm probably gonna die. I might as well write some, <laughs> something interesting on the wall. I mean, I've been reading like this text on the wall so far, and it's all been meaningless. I'm gonna leave a joke. <laughs> Remember how you said I would never be able to like get the cube up here? Hmm. Oh, don't, don't tell me. Seriously. That's ridiculous. So why did they put that grate there, I wonder? Uh, you see... There's no reason. There's no reason. <laughs> There's never any reason. There's never reason for anything. We Let's play. Ah, oh, good jumping puzzles. If it's any consolation, I don't fall. Not really. So I push that button and it drops garbage. Oh, good. Into the water. Which floats. It's showing off now, isn't it? Yeah. It's just like, hey, remember when all that garbage came down in, like, Portal 2? Remember? <laughs> I think we've been getting a bit more bitter about this game. <laughs> <laughs> I've become very bitter because I spent two hours playing it to no immediate reward. Yeah. Uh, later on... Things get a lot worse in this room. I confess I probably spent 40 minutes in here. So I did that task and I was like, okay, I've got this button, but when you stand on it, nothing happens. In fact, you stand on it, it just goes up again. Nothing opens up, it just goes bing bong. You're trying to drop a beat. I don't know. Get the gong and that going. For the record, I put the cube in that hole as well. 
Heck, I even went in this room and went into all the little air ducts around here and flung wow. the cube within them in the hopes of making something happen. Mm. That was another ten minutes. And you know what? At the end of all that, something does open. But I don't know how I did it. Huh. Is there a time limit? I don't know. It's like, <laughs> oh, I haven't figured it out yet. Here, let's just open it for you. Ah, uh, that might be it. Maybe. I'd like a video game that did that kind of I'd like a video game that didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Uh, okay. So some more cubes. Climbing. Yep. Remember when you had to do that at the beginning of that level at Portal? Well, let's make you do it again and again and again. <laughs> let's make again. it the central theme of this game. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Use the cube to lift yourself up this waist high ledge. Should we take two minutes to like, list all the positive things in this game? Uh, Music is nice, assuming it's not stolen. Um, uh, I kind of like the aesthetic of the whole cube thing. It's got some clever parts to it. Some of the flashbacks that are actually very nice when they're not taking things from other mods. Yeah. They're not, this level, using, they're not using the GLaDOS voice, that's always refreshing. We got hit again, and oddly enough, you only ever get hit when you're in a black room. That's, um... You can't read that on the screen at the moment, but it just basically says, Hello, we've had technical difficulties. Glad to see you're doing well with the test. It's nearly over. Keep on going. You're good sport. Thank you for enduring. Yes. Okay. Oh. Attention. A so it's. I believe that was something about getting attached to the cube. Yeah, we love the cube. Oh yeah. no, it was something about turrets. Turrets! I think that's just about everything that's been taken. These are the hard ones. Yes, they are, actually. Um, props to them for going for that. Grenades. The problem is, even when I've got my back to one, it still just didn't kill me. It barely did anything at all. No, they're using low cal bullets. Yeah. I don't think I'm playing on easy, <laughs> because I'll have to check. Well, they could have... Well, we don't have grenades, so they weren't going to use, like, the full-on turrets as well. Oh, hey, look, there's a pipe on the ceiling that dispenses grenades. How convenient. <laughs> Yay, some action in this game. I was kind of hoping I could just sprint across and then maybe pick up the cube from the other side. Because I was kind of like, I don't want to fail that jump. Turns out you can't, so I just have to run it. There you go. It's a button. No. It's a grate. Oh, good lord. Hello, it is time for you to part ways with your cube, basically. Is it an incendiary device by any chance? Nope, it's actually just um, an equipment retrieval chute. And it says if you become attached to it, you can keep it after you've completed all the tests. Oh, cool. They sell them at the gift shop. Yes. Right. That's fine, then. So you just put it in there. Bye, little cube. Oh, it's on fire. Not uh, really. It's just kept there. Can I get it signed? <laughs> By who? Uh. P. Bishop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's currently available. He seems to have gone missing in this labyrinth. I wonder if his skeleton can sign it for me. That would be nice. <laughs> Oh dear. Mm. Chapter 6. Final test! Yay. Oh, we have no time to read oh, it. What was that? You can't quite read that, but it basically says, in some very broken English, a bunch of promises about getting all the bananas you could ever eat. Ah, oh, good. Just cooperate, collaborate, blah blah blah. I Flashback to I something. I don't much want bananas. I'd rather have some kind of sweet treat. You know, yeah. they did actually base the philosophy of Porto on a lot of people like cake. Don't think a lot of people like bananas. Oh, a red light, you know what that means! Yay! Later. Oh, good lord, that's a lot. Oh, plates you have no idea. Plates are quite bouncy. They are quite bouncy, aren't they? You're quite good reaction. Where are we meant to go? Um, good question. 
I'll give you a fun fact. On one of my attempts, I landed on that um, health station just as a laser got me. Nice. And it still went to game over, even though, like, the thing resurrected me. You did quite well, though. Yeah, I'll give you a couple more facts about this room. Um, for starters, where the lasers start is actually random. So, the only safe place is in mid-air. Huh. I mean, like, um, for a while I was starting by this middle plate, because, like, it's usually the safest one. And then one day, it just spawned a laser directly where I started. <laughs> it just changes the pattern sometimes to mess with you, and the two lasers usually start right next to two of the fake plates. Ooh. I do like this so, music. The goal is to not die. Maybe you just have to outlast it again. I'd like to think that, but I've got a lot of evidence to the contrary. For the record, after I died, I kind of got sick. I was like, how long am I meant to dodge this thing? So I sat there and waited, and there was no evidence of it ever stopping. An eternity with lasers and awesome music. You kind of got these like little things to pull out, uh, these little ledges. I was like, can't I just sit on those? But they got invisible walls to kind of knock you down if you try and sit on those. Oh joy! <laughs> you kind of have to play skip rope with the little one when it comes close to you. So you've got plates that you can jump, and then you get hurt when you land. A health station to compensate for that. Yeah. We didn't quite think this through. Yay! Oh, right in the lasers. Oh. <laughs> so <Sweet. laughs> I honestly spent about five minutes trying to figure out where the lasers start before I realised it was randomised. <laughs> See? Yeah. Oh, that really isn't Technically, the big ones usually start at the health station. This is. What is. You see that up there? You see that up there? Yeah. What is the purpose of this room? That Other looks like an exit to me. Maybe. It just keeps flinging you off. Pretty much. And you gotta keep in mind, these are still the faith plates which are like next to impossible to use properly. Mm. You're getting quite good at it, actually. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> that said. <laughs> okay, so you gotta try and time the jump just right. A joyous. Goal. See, there's this thing kind of exit while dodging lasers. There's a thing to the right which kind of looks like an exit. Heck, there's like a man-shaped hole here you could probably fit, and then just yeah. draw your way out. Yeah. Problem is, every time I go there, I get pushed away. It's so it's an exit blocked by an invisible wall. Maybe either that, or it's just extremely difficult to use. So there's two options, either like you're meant to keep going for that invisible wall, and you can do that for a very long time, believe me. Or you're meant to be like dodging these things for a very long time. We didn't get anything in our inventory that we got that lasers. Mm. Oh wait, there's nothing like that. No, we just have this gun that picks up boxes. Huh. <laughs> yeah, if you miss the tower, you're kinda of screwed. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're never meant to go into the room in the first place. <laughs> That's the test. <laughs> if Are is... you, sir, stupid enough to go into this room with no no clear exit, and it's obviously filled with lasers? <laughs> One hundred attempts later, <laughs> this test is not working. <laughs> I kind of noticed something there, where like just before I landed, I seem to like be caught on a tiny ledge, an invisible ledge. See? Ah. ah, but I jumped down. Yeah. So I did the first clever thing I did in the history of gaming. <laughs> I cheated. Is it cheating, really? In a game like this? Kinda. Well, 
what else can you do? Ta -da. Ta -da. And the lasers just go by. Well, this solves the whole can be outlasted problem. You know what? I just don't think I can keep this up. <laughs> yeah. I, for the record, I went ahead and checked, and we're not even halfway there. I kind of suspected that this game was kind of a copy paste, copy paste kind of thing. It's just reminding me of about a dozen different things we could be playing that would be genuinely fun. And really, I don't think there's any form of payoff we're going to get. This room is probably the best thing in the game. That it's possible. Yep. I'm just going to uh, let this run for a while just to show you how long this goes on for me. It really is, it is what you're meant to solve, isn't it? I don't really... I'm going with your theory, actually, that you can't solve this. It's impossible. The winning solution was just to walk away. I wish I knew that. Oh, I'd like dear. to see a walkthrough of this. I went ahead and checked, and there was a bunch of other ones, and they were like part 48 or something. Wow. And I was like, seriously, we're nowhere near done with this. No, we're not. So to everyone who's watched this far, I say, I'm sorry. I truly am. Our sincerest apologies. But this is not a game. This is torture. <laughs> I guess we picked a bad one. We don't often pick a bad one, but... Yeah. It's had promise, but all in all... It's uh, just... It's just, uh, I don't know. It's not enough in it. I'm sick of <laughs> using damn cubes to climb upstairs. Oh dear. They're really not stopping, are they? <laughs> they really don't. And the worst thing is, though, it's, there were runs where I was running this far in the room, hoping that I would beat it. No, I'm done here. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone.